Welcome, fellow pilgrims, to our We Are Saintly YouTube channel as we embark on this sacred journey about planning a Catholic pilgrimage to see St. Jude Thaddeus today. I'm Priscilla, and I invite you to join me on an extraordinary pilgrimage where we explore the rich traditions and spiritual treasures of the Catholic faith. In this sacred space, we delve into the depths of devotion, faith, and the power of prayer with a special focus on learning how to take a Catholic pilgrimage to see St. Jude Thaddeus. This channel is all about teaching you about the holy saints so that you can deepen your faith. I also help you plan your Catholic pilgrimages to visit these incredible saints and bring your faith to the next level, so make sure to check out the links in the description for help with cheap flights, car rentals, travel insurance, and more. This channel is about fostering a deeper understanding of our faith, embracing the teachings of Christ, and discovering the beauty of Catholic traditions. Today, we'll explore the exciting graces contained within this incredible Catholic pilgrimage to see St. Jude Thaddeus and apply his lessons to our everyday lives. Together, we'll cultivate a space of spiritual growth where we can learn from one another, uplift each other, and find solace in planning a Catholic pilgrimage to see St. Jude Thaddeus and our shared Catholic heritage. So, whether you're a seasoned devotee or just beginning your journey of faith, this channel is for you. Let's unite as a community of prayerful souls embarking on this divine pilgrimage of the heart. Join me on this journey today about making a Catholic pilgrimage to see St. Jude Thaddeus, where prayer becomes a transformative force and our souls find sanctuary. Take a moment now to subscribe to our channel because we have more awesome videos coming up and hit the notification bell to be a part of our sacred journey. Let's get started. How can I make a pilgrimage to see St. Jude? For sincere followers of St. Jude Thaddeus who regularly call upon his aid through devoted prayer of the cherished St. Jude three-day miracle prayer, planning and undertaking a thoughtful pilgrimage to visit the holy shrines and sites associated with this beloved patron saint of desperate and impossible causes can profoundly deepen spiritual connection with St. Jude in numerous impactful ways. The profound experience of making a pilgrimage offers dedicated devotees an opportunity to step outside of everyday distractions and literally walk in the footsteps of St. Jude himself, powerfully meditating on his divine legacy of faith, miracles, and boundless compassion as they encounter the places he lived and served God. The St. Jude three-day miracle prayer takes on new meaning when prayed earnestly at sacred locations connected to his work and ministry. According to tradition, St. Jude Thaddeus is buried in different locations. St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City, some relics of St. Jude were brought to Rome in 1603 and placed in a shrine under the main altar of St. Peter's Basilica. Devout pilgrims visit this site to pray to St. Jude near his bodily remains. Basilica of St. John Lateran in Rome, the tomb and relics of St. Jude were originally preserved in the Basilica of St. John Lateran, the Pope's Cathedral Church. It's said that part of his relics still rest there today in a small urn beneath the altar. Lateran is one of the four major basilicas of Rome. St. Paul outside the walls in Rome, this major basilica also claims to house some relics of St. Jude that were brought there long ago, so both Lateran and St. Paul's boast having parts of Jude's holy remains. Rheims, France, the Cathedral of Rheims claims to have the head of St. Jude in their treasury. This would have been brought from Rome centuries ago. So while Jude's complete remains are not all located in one place, it's believed primary relics rest in Rome beneath the altars of both St. Peter's and the Lateran Basilica. Visiting these sites is a profound experience for devoted followers who pray for St. Jude's aid. What other Catholic saints are there to see near St. Jude? While undertaking a pilgrimage to pray in devoted veneration at the blessed tomb of St. Jude Thaddeus located within the Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls in Rome, pilgrims can enrich their spiritual journey even further by also taking time to visit nearby churches and sites containing the tombs and shrines of other important early saints and apostles who walked alongside St. Jude in ancient times spreading the light of the gospel. Rome offers an abundance of awe-inspiring places for Catholics to visit. As the heart of the church, this eternal city contains some of Christendom's most revered churches, shrines, and historical sites. No Catholic pilgrimage to Rome would be complete without visiting the following. The Vatican is home to the breathtaking St. Peter's Basilica, the greatest church in all of Christendom. Its soaring dome designed by Michelangelo is an architectural masterpiece. Splendid art adorns the interior, including Michelangelo's Pieta depicting Mary holding the crucified body of Jesus. The Confessio beneath the main altar contains the actual tomb of St. Peter the Apostle, the first pope. 
There is also the chance to attend the Pope's weekly audience in St. Peter's Square. The nearby Vatican Museums house many Christian treasures, most famously Michelangelo's stunning frescoes covering the Sistine Chapel ceiling. The Raphael rooms painted by the Renaissance master further showcase the splendor of the Vatican. Just outside the museum stands the towering Castel Sant'Angelo, initially built as a mausoleum for Roman emperors before later becoming a papal fortress. No pilgrimage is complete without visiting the Mammoth Colosseum where early Christians were martyred, as well as the nearby by Roman Forum and Palatine Hill, center of ancient Roman life. The city's elaborate Baroque churches like St. Paul outside the walls and Santa Maria Magyar merit a visit. The winding streets and neighborhoods like Trasti trace early Christian history. Whether gazing at the ancient Pantheon's dome, strolling the Appian Way, or praying in tiny chapels, Rome immerses one in the foundations of Christianity. If we remain open, a pilgrimage to St. Jude Thaddeus has the power to radically transform hearts and set us on the path of the saints. We return home with renewed passion to love and serve God above all things. The opportunity to pray and reflect surrounded by these kindred Holy Spirits that lived and sacrificed to serve the faith allows pilgrims to feel connected to the full communion of saints across centuries and draws them even closer to God through the graces they carry, making travel arrangements to see St. Jude. In order to fully undertake a pilgrimage to pray in deep veneration at St. Jude's tomb and visit associated holy sites in Rome, one must carefully plan and all transportation and lodging logistics. Dedicating time for thoughtful preparation allows pilgrims to be mentally focused and spiritually ready to wholly immerse in this moving experience. Working with an established Catholic tour group to arrange pilgrimage details can greatly ease any challenges that arise with international travel. Having accommodations and sites pre-planned provides peace of mind. I've been all over the place. America, Scotland, Korea, Hong Kong, Macau, the Vatican, Switzerland, France, Milan, and all of Israel are among the countries I've visited. Very soon, I'll be in Turkey. I am well versed in all facets of travel. I've provided you with a few straightforward tools to aid with your preparation for your holiday. Just check in the description below for those links to help you plan your Catholic pilgrimage to see St. Jude. Time to pack your bags. How can praying the St. Jude prayer and making a pilgrimage to see him help to make me a saint? Regularly repeating the St. Jude three-day miracle prayer with sincere devotion in one's daily spiritual practices invokes St. Jude's holy blessing and intercession to illuminate life's journey. Making the commitment to visit his tomb and retrace his earthly footsteps on pilgrimage magnifies and reinforces this sacred spiritual bond in miraculous ways. Following contemplatively in St. Jude's path throughout Rome connects us more tangibly to his legacy across centuries, fostering deepened reverence and awe. Seeing his enduring positive impact on fellow faithful worldwide renews Pilgrim's determination to carry his example forward through lives of greater compassion, love and selfless service after returning home. Through St. Jude's heavenly grace and guidance, pilgrimage and repetitive prayer slowly align our imperfect human natures to emulate his saintly virtues, bringing us closer to Christ's perfect light. Prayer is such an important aspect of growing in your faith. Also, meditating on the gospel for at least a few minutes a day can dramatically deepen your faith. Are you familiar with the gospel? I believe that you were brought to this video today for a reason. Let's take a moment to think about the gospel and what the religion of Christianity is all about. The Bible tells us that all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and that we all need a savior because of this. Romans 3.23 Because of this, God sent his one and only son to us to be the atonement for our sins. As it says in John 3.16, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. You see, in Malachi 3-6 God says, I am the Lord, and I do not change. He has always required a blood sacrifice for the atonement of sins. He says this in Leviticus 17:11, For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. He also repeats this in the New Testament when he says in Hebrews 9.22, Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. This is why Jesus, God in the flesh, had to come into the world and live under the law, which are the Ten Commandments, to redeem those who were under the law. 
Have you obeyed the entire law of the Lord? Have you ever stolen anything, even if it was small? Have you ever lied? Have you ever not kept Sunday as a day of rest and worship of the Lord? Have you ever looked with lust at another person that you were not married to or done physical things with a person you were not married to? Have you ever desired something that your friend or neighbor had that didn't belong to you? To be honest, it's easy to break these laws because our nature is inclined to sin. The Bible says that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. However, it says in 1 John 1-8 and 9, If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. What a merciful and loving God we serve. Because God loves us so much, in Isaiah 53, 10, it says, Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush Jesus when his soul makes an offering for guilt. Jesus was born of a virgin, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. He conquered sin and death, and because he rose from the dead, he promises to raise us from the dead after we die too. This is the glorious gospel. The next step after a person has received the gospel is to go to RCIA at your local Catholic church. You can search for the nearest church on Google and call them to see when the next classes start. If they don't start for some months, you can still meet with the director and get some books to read to tie you over before it starts. I will be praying for you about all of this. This is the road to eternal life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other videos about inspiring saints. I appreciate you taking the time to view this video. Make sure to check out the links below in the description so you can grab your St. Jude Thaddeus Catholic t-shirt and be a part of our We Are Saintly Catholic community by signing up for our email list and joining us on Patreon. I give you free saint printables each month, a free We Are Saintly shirt each year, shout outs, and more in Patreon as a special thank you for being a part of this amazing Catholic community. Are you considering taking a Catholic pilgrimage to see these St. Jude Thaddeus after learning about them. I've traveled to lots of places, and I'm well versed in the things you may need along the way, so I've compiled a list of links in the description below where you can find cheap flights, car rentals, destination packages, and more. Save this video so you have those links handy and visit our blog to learn about more holy saints that will ignite your faith. I sincerely hope that learning about this Catholic pilgrimage to see St. Jude Thaddeus has brought you a sense of comfort and tranquility. If you found this video to be beneficial, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel. Always remember to keep the faith and believe in the power of prayer. May God bless you and provide you with guidance on your journey. Until we meet again, take care of yourself, keep going to church, reading your Bible, praying your rosary, and sharing the gospel. I'm praying for you in all of this.